join in the call to worship. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. That's why we have the candles Today, as we light the fourth candle, we remember the love of God in Jesus Christ our Lord. This hope, this peace, this joy, and this love are offered to us today. Behold, the light of the world has come.
redemption began. When Jesus stepped down from his throne to die as a man, all of our riches, we can count them as lost. If we start at the manger, then go to the cross. We share the whole story of our faith from manger to cross, from Advent to Christmas. We embrace the power of music to express our faith and to encourage our faithfulness. As the opening song suggests, we look to the light of the world and follow where the, that light of Christ leads. And we start at the very beginning. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was moving over the face of the waters. The Spirit of God was moving. The Spirit, wind of wisdom, breath of God, was moving over the face of the deep. The Spirit of God, Yahweh, Ruach, Lord Almighty, Holy One, is moving still. Then the Lord God bore man of dust from the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living being. And the breath of God, the Spirit of God, the wind of wisdom moved into humanity and gave life to dust, brought soul into nothingness, offered choice to humankind, and there was light. But darkness remained, Chaos hovered, choice became clouded, and God seemed distant. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Once again, God reached out of creation and came to be with humanity. Jesus Christ was born. And the Word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. The miracle took place not through the power of a king or a world leader, a great army or a band of prophets. Not even the religious leaders of the day received the gift of God's spirit to welcome the savior of the world. 
The Spirit of God came to a poor, humble peasant girl, Mary of Nazareth, who responded with faithfulness when she heard the voice of heaven. Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. And indeed, the Holy Spirit came to Mary.
heaven, light of the world, friend of sinners, savior, king. Mary's beloved son, Jesus, came long ago to teach us how to live and to touch us with new life. The world has never known anyone like Jesus Christ. Only Son of God, Word made flesh, Emmanuel, God with us. Because Jesus lived, we can know God. Because Jesus died, our sins are forgiven. Because Jesus rose from the grave, we also rise to new and eternal life. All things are possible because of God's love, because of God's Son, born of Mary, by the power of God's Spirit. We celebrate Jesus, the Messiah, Savior of the world. Now the birth of Jesus, the Messiah, took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband, Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All of this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took her as his wife, but had no marital relations with her until she had born a son, and he named him Jesus.
The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult with dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us, authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this.
The themes of Advent, hope, peace, joy, and love, all come to fulfillment this week when we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. Those themes of preparation call us to become the best that we can be as followers of Jesus, to serve God with all of our hearts, all of our souls, all of our minds, and all of our strength. We have been called, and we seek to follow the light of Christ. At the beginning of his ministry, recorded in Luke 4, Jesus quoted the scripture from Isaiah chapter 61, challenging his disciples to follow in this work of sharing and showing God's love in the world. May we all follow Jesus as we shine the light of Jesus Christ. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and release to the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to provide for those who mourn in Zion, to give them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit. They will be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord to display his glory. Do not be afraid. 
For see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom God favors.
the love of God, and the fellowship of our Holy Spirit be with you now and evermore. Amen. shall see